name has been changed customer address whenever we are setting it has been updated so you will please go back and change yourself so this is what we want to do all right so our model the structure is all right so uh, let's just you know override uh, this is our class you know whenever we are just you know just calling the object so we should not get uh, word values so we are just going to override the two string okay so what we're going to return we are going to return string dot string dot format So what we are going to return uh, zero comma one comma two and we are going to have our customer okay let's do like this this dot Customer ID. Now, let's just return the you know private variables. I mean private values. Uh, this job. customer ID. This dot customer name and this dot. Customer address. All right, so perfect. We have our model ready, but what's the use of the model? Yeah, till the time you know we have some data inside it, we need to uh, get the data from somewhere so that you know we can populate our model and the view can actually show them. And when we click on something, so it, uh, I mean. It should update otherwise why, why we're going to have a model I mean what's the point we are not going to just show the uh, plain blank values null values we're not going to show that so we need to get the data from somewhere so we need a service for that so the service will get the data it doesn't matter from where the, the model doesn't bother the data is coming from which place it is it doesn't bother because service is going to do that for us service is going to talk to a database service is going to talk to you know the file system service is uh, is going to talk to the uh, csv files of the file system it doesn't care service is going to get the data and update the model so this is what we are going to have so let's to update the model what we are going to have we are uh, we need a service right so let's create a service so our service will you know uh, let's call it service itself all right so our service what our service is going to do so our service will have a public method or public interface i mean the public methods are called interfaces so that it i mean not as the, uh, as the interface interface but whenever we are exposing a method to to the public to other classes to use it so we can say this class is exposing an interface all right this is confusing just leave it so let's we are just exposing a public method right now so what uh, we are going to have here observable, observable collection of customer so all right this is done now yep 
okay get all customers all right so so uh, do we get all customers so i mean just for the time being where 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 customer records equal to default of observable collection of customer okay and we are going to return that after we do our manipulations so yep so this is it we are going to write a cry and catch and uh, okay so what we are going to write in the service we'll just exception Just you know, sample catch. Actually, we are not. We don't want to write whenever uh, an exception happens uh, to the console in a WPF application. Either not in the WPF application, we should not do that in any of the application. But in WPF application, yes, user is never going to find it out. So, in ideal scenarios, we might have been, we might have used something so that it could actually write to the logs, but. Uh, for the sample application we're just going to use the console dot write line all right all right so uh, that's it so right now actually we can write uh, the code here so we can get the data from anywhere like uh, we can get the data from uh, you know from a database or we can call a web service but for the demonstration we are just going to have a you know we're going to get the data from RA so we can just populate our, our model so uh, we are going to create a string RA names and we will new string We are just going to use the array initializer. I'm sorry. Okay. So here is Steve. Here is Jones. Here is Ram. Here is Rawan. Okay. Here is Chacha. Here is. Here is Z1. Here is Subin. Here is Methylesh. Um, let's see Annapurna. All right. So this is. Let's see. You know this is our database all right so uh, let's okay so what's next so we are going to update our uh, you know this observable collection customer so we'll say customer records equals to um, new Objective collection of customer records. Okay, so we are just going to from index in in a dot range. Sorry. Okay. 
okay uh, sorry it's it has to be in enable dot range one dot names dot length all right okay so we are going to select new customer all right so uh, no no uh, what all this has custom id so we will just you know have a random measure here random random equal new of random all right Random measure equal to one. Let's 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 onto like this. We are going to have the you know index dot to string. All right. So what next? We have we have the customer name equals to names index minus one okay and the last one we have is customer address so let's fix it to you know uh, this okay all right so this is it this is our service which is going to you know update our and let's not use a uh, observable collection because uh, we are thinking it as of a service so you know again observable collection is very very specific to you know our collections object model uh, uh, I mean we don't need to use actually observable collection so let's uh, change this to I enumerable it would be better uh, instead of observable selection we will say list here all right just a uh, few changes so we'll just try to rebuild now let's see what's what happens well it succeeded so what's next we have our you know now what we have we have our view ready we have our model base entity is ready and we have also a service which is going to update the model we have our command manager ready but yet we do not have our view model so let's create a view model class now and uh, you know what is our view uh, our view is main window I mean we should have ideally changed the name by now but since we have not so let's create our view model as you know, name of the view model all right perfect so uh, our view model what it is going to have it is going to have two things okay whenever we are talking about view model it is going to have two things so the first one we are going to have input so input as in commands when you click when you change when you drag and drop you do anything that's an input so input are commands what it is going to give us back okay it is going to give us back the data so it is going to have the output so the output will be the properties so let's start we will have region input commands okay so here we are going to have a 
Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Click command equal to let's okay. Okay, and we are going to have Okay, so we will just make this as a property because we can only bind properties to the channel and we'll say private set we don't want anyone to set our property alright so this is our input 